Hello there, my name is Nick, and this is Daisy Opals. Welcome to the channel. I have a very, very beautiful stone to cut today. Heavy saturation. Sent to me by Frank from Opalholics R Us. One of the top opal sellers on Etsy. Lucky enough to have his support for my videos. And uh, this was chosen by a YouTube user named Joy E, who has a King of the Hill photo. I love King of the Hill. At the end of my last video, I showed you I think four opals and allowed you guys to choose which one I would cut in the next video and this was the one and I named it Steve for ease of selection I gave them all names and this one was named Steve so uh, getting a little closer here you can see this beautiful window heavily saturated greens and blues and of course you can see a lot of sand Ton of sand. Now ideally the inside will be filled with color but I'm assuming that this sand will be pretty invasive so we'll, we'll just we'll just have to see. Nice base of potch maybe I can make that the bottom and we can see some some webbing. I learned this term the other day it's called webbing when you see potch like this kind of extending through different layers of the stone it's, it's called webbing. Makes things pretty complicated. Onto the 220 wheel to get rid of that sand. That will be the first step, just trying to find the potch or the color or any type of matrix underneath that sand. I'm using the left side of the wheel a lot because the, the center seems to have worn down and the right side. Those are the, uh, the stock wheels from the Cab King. I think it's time I need to get some Nova wheels. And uh, that'll probably be another video when I get those Nova wheels. I'm, I'm excited for that. A lot more sand than I expected. I guess I'm a little over optimistic. I thought it might be like a millimeter before I hit potch, but... We got a lot of sand to wipe out of the way here. We can see some color showing, but so far it's pretty disorganized. And I keep noticing this to the left of that saturated window, this little pile of sand. I'm going to try to get rid of that and see if uh, that window extends to the left. So I'm kind of thinking now that I can grind away this sand that's to the left of that saturated part there and maybe that window will continue around it's the stone and it's like a big fat color bar. But you can kind of see that it, it, it dips back and that's not the case. This might, be, this might be going deep in here so I'm going to try to round off this top see if I can peek and see if uh, because I'm imagining a huge color bar that goes across there. So I'll tell you right now that was not the case. Not the case at all. It, the, the window is as far as that color bar extends. So I'm, I, I chalked up another plan. I've been thinking that this was the top. Because I like this potch on the bottom. I was thinking this will stop and this will be the top. Maybe I switch it around, shave off that potch, and maybe I'll see this color that's clearly against it. I'm going to take off some of this side and see. So if you go back and rewind or you, or you check again, the color that's against the potch is incredibly flat. So it's probably like pure color below the potch. Whereas if I take it from the top, 
the, the tendrils of the sand might extend into the color and I might get white spots. I'd rather have the gray potch like bleeding into the color than the sand. So I'm changing the potch to the top. The sand is pretty firm and it should make a nice solid base anyways. So I have it all set up there, ready to take off that, that potch on what is now the top. Where my thumb is touching on the, on the, on the bottom, I'm sorry. And this is the satisfying part of the video, so grab your popcorn or your box of Lucky Charms. Whatever you're snacking on, start snacking now. I don't snack on Lucky Charms, I just thought of that. Right up against the color there, less than a millimeter left to go. I'm hoping. You know, there's always a chance that the pots just dips down in the middle, goes right through the color. That's a good sign. We see color peeking around the other side of the pot, making a little circle. That's looking real, real good. We can still see a little bit of gray there in the center. Let's see if I can get that off. But I want to be real careful at this point because with all this sand, there's just no guarantees. So if I see a nice patch of color, I'm going to keep it. I do not want white spots throwing, showing through. There's a teeny bit of gray potch on top, but I think I'm going to settle with that instead of risking sand coming up from the bottom. Yeah, that's good. So basically I just gotta get rid of all this sand that's on the bottom that you can see now. So I go back to the 200 wheel, get that removed real quick, and there was no color inside of that sand. Got a nice shape here, kind of, kind of rounding off the edges just to prepare it for the for the dop stick. And there she is, that's the general shape before the dop stick. And now it's time to do the bottom. Get the bottom nice and even. I hope you guys like this beat. I made it a couple, uh, I think like two years ago. I just dug it up looking for new music to put on these videos. Time for the top now. And I'm just focusing on making the top flat a little bit and then rounding. go nice and smooth when you spin the stick or you're gonna get flat spots. On to the 600 wheel where I'm gonna take out those 220 scratches and further round the stone, get clean rounded edges. We're almost done here. Onto the 1200 wheel, bleh, 1200 wheel, starting to polish. 3000, get ready for this. Oh, oh we gotta do a uh, cerium oxide first. But then, the final stone. Absolutely gorgeous. I could not be happier with this stone. I might have to make this into a ring for myself because I love the colors, I love the pattern. I like the little scrape of potch. 
in the face that reminds me that it's a natural stone that came from the earth. Just gorgeous play of color from almost every angle. And that same level of saturation that we saw in the window. Ever, ever prevalent here in the stone. Anyway, should make a gorgeous ring. I'm so sorry about my knuckle hair. If you want me to shave it for the next video, type banana in the comments and I will shave my knuckle hair. <laughs> sorry. Interaction is important, I read, for YouTube. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Uh, if you're a hobbyist like me and you like to see the journey, you know, I hope you can learn something. Uh, thank you guys so much. Make sure to check out the uh, Etsy store. Follow me on Instagram. Reach out if you have any advice or um, requests. Thank you.